Yes, people, good morning. As you all would have seen, it's absolutely snowing up and down the country. Looking out the window now, it's absolutely white out. A few things seem to have come out on the sheriff this morning. So, without any messing, let's get straight into the video. <laughs> Yes, people, good morning. As I've just showed you then out the window. Oh, ho, it's coming down, you know. I think it's like this up and down the country. So uh, I've been led to believe. You guys let me know in the comments, though, if you've got the same sort of thing. But I've woke up this morning and there's been a few different things in regards to the sheriff, which uh, seem to have come to light. Now, first of all, we'll uh, discuss the Reacher thing. Now, as we all know, someone reported the Reacher to his work and... The gist I'm getting from it from Reese's, Reacher's most uh, recent videos is that he's now lost his job and he's had to start working somewhere else due to somebody, I believe he said, sending an email to his work. Now, as we know, the sheriff has tried to make out that the person who sent this email to Reacher's work was this Joanne Mossop lady that everyone seems to keep mentioning. Now, apparently the Reacher's been in contact with this Joanne. This lady's messaged him or whatever. And they've figured it out between them or whatever. She told him she never sent the thing. And I think the, the sort of gist he's ended up getting from it is that it has come from the sheriff. So that sort of shows the sort of person he is. Plus, as I have pointed out before, he comes on here and just tells blatant lies time after time after time. And it would appear that the Reacher has also got to the bottom of the lie that Sheriff keeps saying that he works and he's a gas man and this and that. And everyone keeps asking for some small piece of proof, just a little bit of anything of you working and he never ever produces it maybe that is due to the fact that he is himself on benefits and on pip now that's none of my business i'm not really interested but he does seem to point the finger and talk about narrative in regards to things like that when it's a bit of a hypocritical thing to do when you are claiming the exact same thing also in regards to uh this whole train incident with the sheriff what we've all been hearing about for the past couple of days with him being caught with his trousers down. His response to that now is to start saying that we're all siding with SOs. I'd love to know which SO it is that I'm siding with because I don't side with any SOs, yeah? We're all siding with SOs and any of us with children need reporting to social. Let's be 100% honest on this one, Sheriff, yeah? You offered a 14-year-old child. It's not even your child. It's your partner's child. It's not even yours. It may have even been younger than 14, but... Either way, it was a child, a young lad, yeah, a child. You offered him to fight a substance user from the other end of the country. Like, that is, act like, that's proper, um, well, you guys let me know in the comments, but for me, that is actually, like, you're really putting a child in danger there, aren't you? You genuinely are. You're offering him to fight someone who could have had any sort of diseases. You don't know. You didn't know him from Adam. Are you going to send your 14-year-old son in there with him? <sighs> Never known anyone like Sheriff, mate. But you can definitely see the Sheriff is rattled, driving round last night in his car, shouting, screaming. This morning, more stuff seems to have come to light. Big shout-out to the Reacher. He's absolutely smashed it there, found out uh, what the Sheriff's really about. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, I actually found that quite cheeky. I couldn't actually believe I thought... As if he said that, does he forget that we all watched him offer his 14-year-old kid? It's not even his kid, it's his stepkid. That's even worse. Imagine you've got a kid, people, yeah? Your ex-partner gets with some ding like the sheriff, and next thing, he's offering your 13, 14-year-old son up on the dark corner, might I add. I would never put my children in this corner. The sort of people what you, you actually know are in this corner, and you're going to put pictures of your kids in here. Or, like, videos of him and, and offering him out to, like, pfft, I don't know. This is what I'm saying about the hypocrisy in this corner. Sheriff, you've been exposed. You're a lawyer. You've got no job. You're on the pip. You are the person who tried to get Reacher sacked or did get Reacher sacked even. Could be the uh, the actual outcome of it. It seemed that that's what Reacher was saying. And, yeah, and you're going to try and point the finger at other people and say, these people are this and that. And uh, these need the social services looking at them. You're the one who offered your child out to fight a substance user. You. Nobody else. You. Just remember that, Sheriff. And just, just briefly that. touching before we finish. You keep mentioning as well about this uh, Titch fella. 
saying stuff about this teach fella, like blah, blah, blah. Me personally, I wasn't in the dark corner when this teach geezer was making uh, videos, content, things of the sort. I, I've got basically no idea who he is other than the fact that the doc keeps speaking about him recently, has put a couple of clips up and narrative mentioned him not so long ago. Personally, my only opinion on it really, especially if you don't know the ins and out facts of it and you're not like someone who was close to the whole the whole case or whatever, is you shouldn't really speak ill of the dead. None of us know anything um, like in reality about this geezer or what went on in his life. So for grown men to be on here, speaking ill of him, his family could stumble across that. I just think it's a little bit out of order. That's just my opinion now. Again, like I say, real ones, let me know what you think in the comments, but to be speaking uh, ill of someone who's no longer with us, especially, like I say, when you, you... There's no way the people speaking ill of him can actually know the story of, like, what the situation was. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Personally, I'd just not comment myself. So, like I said, let me know what you think in the comments, though, real ones. We'll see you all on the next video. Probably be back at some point today, as you know, the dance. Still not done that Creepy Craig video for you, have I? Pfft. I don't know, I'm slacking. You know what it is? It's going to take a bit of work, that one, and I can't find the full clip what I had, which was like a longer clip than the, the clips what I've used in uh, previous videos, but we'll sort it out anyway. We'll see you all on the next one. Peace.